Welcome to the presentation title, Create Instructional eSound eLearning Courses from PowerPoint Presentations. Can an existing PowerPoint presentation be automatically converted into an e-learning course? The answer is no. Merely adding audio presentations, recording live sessions and uploading them to LMS, in Trainit or website does not constitute e-learning. Unfortunately, e-learning is not that simple. So, what is e-learning? Yes. Learning connected with electronic media is e-learning. However, e-learning also addresses different learning styles and facilitates knowledge transfer through carefully planned learning design curriculum. The objective of e-learning is to help the audience learn. It is not just a means of communication. E-learning courses are developed with inputs from SMEs and learning design experts. SMEs have authority over the content and learning design experts understand instructional design principles and adult learning processes. Together they can create courses that are more powerful and purposeful resulting in better knowledge transfer and retention. That said, you can still convert PowerPoint presentations into e-learning courses. However, you will need to work a bit on it. In this presentation, we will look at some tips on how this can be done. PowerPoint presentations can be converted into good instructional sound e-learning courses if you follow the guidelines shared in this presentation. Let's look at them one by one. Set clear learning objectives. Adding learning objectives to the course enables employees to know how the learning activity would help them in their job performance. Learning objectives describe what employees are supposed to know and do after completing the course. According to Robert Magger, an ideal learning objective consists of three components, performance, condition and criteria. You can see a screenshot of an e-learning course stating the learning objectives on your screen. The second step is to organize the content. In PowerPoint, you have many slides lined up displaying the content. The content of the PowerPoint needs to be organized logically by breaking them into course units with topics and subtopics so that a learner can understand the essential aspects of the course. The third step is to fill the spaces. Most of the PowerPoints contain 50% of what is actually taught to the student. The rest 50% is conveyed by the knowledge and effectiveness of the instructor in the form of examples stories, elaborations and so on. So, an instructional designer must make sure that the missing 50% is covered in order to give a logical flow to the content. Incorporate interactivities into the course. Interactivities should be placed throughout the course strategically to actively engage the learner with the course. As e-learning is self-paced, engagement of learners with the course becomes imperative. Interactivities can help maintain the interest of learners for longer periods in the course. Interactivities include audio, video, animations, slideshows, click on tabs, graphics and photographs. These interactivities serve trainees with different learning styles, such as auditory, visual and kinesthetic learning. Adding games or game elements in e-learning evokes interest and activates the knowledge in the learner. Gaming in assessments can be fun and challenging because they make participants work towards a goal. Games do not expect people to have any specific knowledge, rather they provide challenges and feedback on their decisions. Including assessments is the next step. Seldom will you find assessments in PowerPoint presentations. This is because an instructor orally asks questions during the training. When converting a PowerPoint to an e-learning course, instructional designers must ensure that assessments are added to the course to measure learners' understanding. This reinforces learning and helps learners to check whether they have understood the content. Assessments are of two types, formative and summative. Formative assessments measure the learning achievements and monitor the progress of the learners during the learning process. 
Summative assessments measure learning achievement at the end of learning and are evaluative. You can choose to include both or just have summative assessments depending on the duration of your course. Finally, use rapid authoring tools. Authoring tools are PowerPoint add-ins and appear on a special tab on the PowerPoints toolbar. With the help of these tools, e-learning courses can be created from within the PowerPoint interface. Authoring tools can quickly and easily convert PowerPoint presentations, including text, graphics and other activities like quizzes, audios, videos and interactions into e-learning courses. You do not need to have any programming knowledge in order to use these tools. Some of the prominent tools in the market are Articulate and iSpring. How long does it take to convert a PowerPoint of 30 slides into an e-learning course? To convert a PowerPoint presentation of 30 slides into an e-learning course using the Articulate tool, it takes around 24 hours for one resource. This estimation covers the inclusion of audio in e-learning. The objective of e-learning is to help the audience learn. It is not just a means of communication. Developing and designing e-learning courses is an exacting process based on sound learning principles. Knowledge of learning design principles helps in effective conversion of PowerPoint presentations into e-learning courses. To read articles on similar topics, please visit blog.comlabindia.com. Thank you.